Hi, I'm Julia from Jewelry Advisor and today I'm going to talk to you about how mackles are formed. Now mackles are twinned crystals, they occur in diamonds and also in spinel. They are associated to the octahedral form, which is what's shown here. So an octahedral form is a primary form for diamonds and also for spinel. And mackles are primary forms as well, but these occur after there is a change in growth direction. Now, if we have a look at this octahedron, we can see a plane running through the center of this model, which is parallel to the crystal faces. At the beginning of growth, if there was a slight rotation around this plane, then a mackle would occur instead of an octahedron. So this still has octahedral faces. We have the tips of the octahedral faces making up the reentrant angles. And also we have the twinning line or knot where the two base octahedral faces join. At either side, you still have the original untouched octahedral faces as well. But this is what's known as a mackle, a twinned octahedron. And these are harder to cut where they have this twinning plane and so are often cut into triangular shaped diamonds or heart shapes or pear shapes or any other shape that might give a good yield in the final cut stone. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration on how a mackle is in fact a twinned octahedron. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jewelry Advisor, for more.